All right, we are doing a really long day hike. 24.4 is the orange loop at Lyndon B. Johnson National Grasslands National Forest Area. So I've done two day treks that are about this, two and a half day treks that are 27, 29, that area, 23 even. So 24 in a one day is gonna be interesting. This dude runs marathons and stuff, so I don't anticipate he'll have any issues. Marathons are on the road, the trail's a little different. But I might be struggling, but we're just gonna start out with a good pace and enjoy it out here. So a little cool right now, so that's why I got the jacket, but it'll warm up to mid 60s and I think it'll be nice. So let's do it. Well, first water crossing on this trail. I didn't think we'd have much of these, so. Um, all right. Let's see if there's a, I mean, it may be wading across. I do not want to start mile one with wet feet. Um, we can leap across this, but does that help us out? We may just need to slog through it. There's pigs down here. Alrighty. So what we have figured out mostly through hiking in Arkansas, oh buddy that's cold, is don't waste time looking for a better place to cross. If it's more likely than not that you're gonna have to go through it, just just do it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think the order's about 50? I did not bring a towel to dry off, which sucks. Beautiful time of the year to be doing this too. It's just barely starting to green up, but it's not buggy yet, and it's not 90 degrees. It's pretty. So this has been causing us a little bit of trouble. There's a yellow trail out here, but I think these are actually orange that have faded. <laughs> so that's what we gotta follow. Oh, I think that'll work. Also, all trails, low GPS signal. <laughs> We're getting a bit of weird stuff going on. We did not do that. So, this is a very approximate reference. But I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Lots of these cattle gates. Always make sure to close them. You may to be topping it out, I don't know. Two hours and 20 minutes for six miles. If we keep this pace up, we're a little over, say, nine and a half. If we don't really stop, we e got 24. Yeah, I mean, there'll be some loss yeah, with well, eating food and we'll call it 10 hours. general slowdown, but yeah, 10's probably pretty accurate. Yeah, that's a nine. All right. Well, it's 10.42. Mike's digging into the deer jerky as we are approaching 10 miles. What time are we at? 11.15. Just under, well, just under four hours. Start at what, 7.30? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Halfway, Halfway. boy. Still feeling good? Yes, sir. I've got a little bit of a hot spot on my left ankle and left inside of my big toe, but I fortunately didn't think through something to treat that, so I'm just gonna power through it. But halfway point, I think my feet will hurt a lot by the end, but I think I'll make it. Just gotta keep on going. IT band tightness, but I think I'm doing all right besides that. I pricked my toe on a thorn. This point. Yeah. Making progress. All right, 14 miles in. We're at 1236. Whew. We're still making still sub 20 minute miles, so that's good. 
keep on checking along. All right, 15. Yes, 19 minute mile. 12.55, 19 minute mile. That was great, dude. Yeah. I know, so many of these areas are just completely dead and then this is lush and green. But making progress, having fun. Beautiful day to be out here. What is that? The berry. Can you eat it? I don't trust it. Pretty sure this is just the wax from your cheese. <laughs> I ain't eating your cheese wax. <laughs> All right, mile marker 16. That mile was about 20 minutes, so I think we're slowing down a touch, which kind of makes sense. My legs are feeling a little bit stiff. Not bad, but definitely don't feel as spry as when we started. Feeling good? A little, a little tight. But I think we, I think we'll pull it out. So, 16, getting 24. Kind of, not quite on the home stretch, but getting there. Getting 17. Yeah, another 20-minute mile. And now it's. We've been kind of hiking around all these pines for the last little bit. Pretty cool. So, something I was told that out here, a lot of these pine forests were originally started by the Civilian Conservation Corps, kind of after the dust ball, because this is all just like sandy, loamy soil, and that pines were planted. That's a tongue twister. Pines were planted out here to kind of start fixing the erosion and they've just kind of continued to spread and grow even though pines are way common in east texas but not so much out here pretty interesting all right 18 miles doggies are barking a little bit but yeah like you said three quarters of the way 22 minutes that one so slowing down a little but predictably so Sorry, I thought I was swinging behind me. Mile 19. Alrighty, where are we going next? <laughs> Mile 20. <laughs> All right, your power up. It's like Mario eating the mushroom. All right, now we're good for the next four miles. I was joking earlier, I was like, if Mike takes off with rainbow fire shooting out his ass. Uh, yep, that, that's what I was afraid of. Now I'm gonna have to drink mine. All right, the big 2-0. I don't remember what we were last time. I don't remember either, but. It's making good probably, time. Yeah, we're probably still slowing down, but. We'll not not bad. Make it before the sun goes down. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever hiked just like straight 20 miles in a day without stopping. Yeah. I don't think ever. Like, I mean, we've stopped and stood around, but like, we never like yeah. sat down or took our packs off. I've never done an off-road 20 before. Well, yeah, yeah, you off-road, you run marathons and stuff, but pretty cool. Oh, well, cellar. I don't really know the full story of this, but it's, extra it's pretty cool. Yeah, I must admit, I contemplated like camping, like sleeping in here one time yeah. when I was turkey hunting, and I got scared. <laughs> I was like, you know, I was like, this is a little, but it's too creepy. <laughs> It was definitely like a storage cellar. I don't know if it was like... Hear that echo? Yeah. Yeah, I could see almost that being like somebody's old like prohibition like booze cellar. Uh, like hide it there and come pick it or up. Or it could have like... just been storage. Like it could have been all kinds of things. All right, mile 21, 19, 19 minute mile. We're picking it back up. It's like caffeine. <laughs> Works wonders. Still feeling good? Yes, sir. Yeah, my feet are definitely a little achy. And props to you for getting it all done in Jesus sandals. But 
Yep. Now I think we're on the home stretch. Alrighty, 22. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I looked at the time, or I don't remember it. Twenty-three. Said twenty-one minute mile. Twenty-one minute mile. Well, for our second to last mile, not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> Got our coordinates right. Yeah, I saw that. All right, just over one more. Pretty cool. All righty, there she is. The big two four. 21 again. Shut her down. Ooh. Got just a couple tenths left. And we have done this thing. Alrighty, home stretch. Pretty intense, yeah. It's a honey locust. Don't want to fall into that thing. So what's really cool that I didn't really tell Mike when we started this, that he probably figured out, is that this trail is primarily a horseback trail. It's open to hiking, but very few people hike this as an actual day loop. But I knew that this dude could do it. And I wanted to try to challenge myself into it, so we didn't let that slow us down. And actually, we only ran into two people on horseback, but it's been a tough loop, but a good one. Yeah, this mud is not a cool addition on the, the last tenth of a mile. <laughs> So a little bit of an alternate ending here. We're hitting mile 25. As you say, that we were just talking about how that last 0.4 felt like a lot more than 0.4. Because that's what the actual trail map said. It's a 24.4 miles. So, and I thought this was, right up here was that pond, but this whole area kind of looks pretty similar. But we gotta be close now. Yeah. If it said 24.4 and we're at mile 25, it can't be too much further. You can hit the cliff bar? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the cliff bar. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a better, all trails was freaking out on us big time. It says we've gone like 300 and something miles. No good. Um, wish I had a better GPS on me. I should just run on X and turn on the track feature. But I didn't think of that before my battery ran out. But I bet you we're gonna hit 26 by the end of this deal. It's probably the same creek, but it's definitely not where we crossed earlier. I'm gonna log it. There you go. I end a 26 mile hike. Sand. All sand. We are now at mile 26. I'm starting to get pretty tired. How you doing? Ready to be done. Yeah, it's been good, but by the time we get to the car, I can literally say that we have hiked a marathon today. Whew. All right, let's do it. Get back to the car and get a margarita. That sounds like a great plan. All righty, yeah, I touched the pole. Even though that definitely says 24.4, you think they would have thought about that when there's a pole that says 26 back there. Got it. Nine hours, 21 minutes. So sub nine and a half hours for 26 and a half-ish miles. 
that's the longest I've ever done a day hike and probably the longest I've just like gone in a day without sitting down at all in a very long time all right y'all well made it back to the rig with water to spare this was a hike that I wanted to do really just to kind of push myself I haven't done a day hike like this and really ever so I really wanted to see if I could do it and Mike yeah, he's a marathon runner he, he can do this stuff all day long so I knew he was the perfect partner to, to take out for this trip it was tough I mean it was good exercise all in all energy level overall I still feel really good um, my feet and knees are definitely sore though and I know uh, once I sit down sit still for a while the rest of me will start feeling pretty sore but it was a fun hike beautiful day to get out here just beautiful spring uh, North Texas day and I enjoyed it so just a good reminder to get out there enjoy nature challenge yourself until next time stay safe be free and never stop seeking adventure